Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Man who scolded cops in March at Helsha Beach does it again in court. I said I want to talk to the Prime Minister. Portland pastor charged with rape of 13-year-old. Detectives assigned to the Center for the Investigation of Sexual Offenses and Child Abuse, Sisoka, have charged a 23-year-old Portland pastor with rape. The pastor has been identified as Jamar Harrison of the Johnstone Road address in Port Antonio, Portland. Reports are that the complainant, who is a 13-year-old girl, and Harrison met via social media and eventually became intimate. On December 1, 2020, the complainant and her grandmother were taken to Sisoka when it was revealed that she was pregnant. The child's grandmother was charged for failing to report to the Office of the Children's Registry. On Monday, June 7, this year, a police operation was conducted in downtown Kingston and Harrison was apprehended. He was charged after a question and answer interview in the presence of his attorney. He was remanded in custody to attend court on June 17. Well, Reed Pinnock granted leave to challenge judges' decision.
the Supreme Court has granted leave to former Education Minister Will Reed and President of Caribbean Maritime University, CMU, Professor Fitzpinock, to contend a ruling made by Senior Parish Judge Chester Crooks in their case. The contention is being made on the basis of conflict of interest as the Senior Parish Judge and former Minister are both past students of Monroe College in St. Elizabeth. The judge, after ruling in February that both of the accused should go to trial, had rescued himself, citing possible conflict of interest, though he did not say with which of the accused. In response to this, Reed and Pinnock filed for a leave of application in Supreme Court to go to the Judicial Review Court to squash the judge's ruling. Justice Courtney Day heard the application today and granted leave, setting September 20 as a date for the first hearing before setting a date for the Judicial Review Court hearing. Pinnock and Reed were first arrested in October 2019 under charges of defrauding the Ministry of Education and the Caribbean Maritime University of millions of dollars. Increase in parties in Manchester, stated police. Acting head of the Manchester Police Division, Deputy Superintendent Light Darby says lawmen have observed an increase in parties following the relaxation of measures put in place to help curb the spread of the novel coronavirus. We continue to be vigilant in enforcing the Disaster Risk Management Act. Since the relaxing of the measures by the Prime Minister last week, we have seen an uptick in social gathering and parties, Darby told reporters yesterday sitting at the Manchester Municipal Corporation. He revealed that 425 people have appeared before the court in relation to breaches of the DRMA. Since the enactment of the DRMA, we have arrested and charged 358 persons. We have served 67 summons and overall of 425 persons have been brought before the court for breaching of this act, he stated. We have secured significant conviction and a lot of guilty pleas. We just want to continue to ask our citizens to abide by the DRMA, allow us the police to concentrate on our crime situation rather than us having to be behind our citizens enforcing the laws so that they can protect themselves against COVID-19, he added. Two men charged in St. James drug bus. Detectives assigned to the Era 1 Narcotics Division have charged 34-year-old Timothy James and 23-year-old Brandon Daly, both of Bogue Village, St. James, under the Dangerous Drug Act following the seizure of ganja plants on Atlantis Crescent in Bogue Village, St. James, on Wednesday, June 9. The men are charged with illegal possession of ganja, cultivating ganja, and dealing in ganja. Reports are that between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., an anti-narcotics operation was conducted at a two-bedroom house occupied by the men. A quantity of ganja was seized and a total of 241 ganja plants were seen growing in the backyard and inside a bedroom in pots. The drugs have an estimated street value of $964,000. The men are scheduled to appear before the St. James Parish Court on Wednesday, June 30. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.